So working for Popular Photography Magazine uh, and a couple other magazines, I ended up shooting a lot of studio stuff, uh, mainly product photography. So these are just a couple examples of uh, just really simple lighting setups uh, that are just really effective. This was shot with three lights, uh, one on one side, one on the other side, and one coming straight in. And again, studio photography is really kind of about just tweaking and getting things just right. If you like to futz with things, if you're sort of OCD, it's really great for that because it's a, you can spend hours and hours lighting one product. And this is a single light setup. This is just a cell phone, uh, just from above, kind of shot down on a piece of red paper. Really simple, again, really effective. This is the same thing. This is shot with three lights, uh, one light on either side and one coming in. The one coming in had a blue gel, which is like a blue piece of cellophane to give it a little bit of blue right here. And this one in particular is actually a composite of three images. And this obviously is not a studio product shot. This is a really goofy self-portrait of myself. And this was shot with three lights and actually a ring flash going around the lens, one light on either side and the ring flash right there. And I just wanted to give it a very poppy, sort of uh, caricature look. The great thing about studio photography is you can tweak it and you can really work with it to get it just right. Most of these were shot with uh, flashes, off-camera flashes like the one here, obviously not connected. Although some of these were shot with professional studio gear as well. Um, both are effective, these are a lot cheaper, but just gives you a lot of options. And that's some of the basics of studio photography.